Hi everyone, I'm Cecily and welcome to my channel. This reading is for anyone whose sun, moon, or ascendant is in the self-sacrificing sign of Pisces. Hi Pisces, I hope you didn't mind that label too much. Um, <clears throat> you guys actually have a tendency of giving a lot and it is turning up in this reading. So let's take a look at exactly what you have going on romantically for December. So Pisces, the first thing that actually came out for you is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is basically saying that you and your partner are at the place where you're trying to develop skill. You're trying to really get to the place where you understand each other, you can function and flow on a daily level and allows you guys to stay happy and integrated with each other. Um, it's very much about the two of you working things out gradually but surely at the same time. Um, but it is actually a great card to have, especially because um, it's connected to this Two of Pentacles which is basically saying that any sort of choice that you have to make through mid-month um, is not going to be a surprise to you. It's something that you realize is coming, something that you're really trying to work on, something that you're really opening up to. Um, <clears throat> and you will have to make a choice mid-month, Pisces. Um, it can be connected to a few different things, but let's continue on. So you and your partner are actually at a place where you're working well together. But crossing you right now, crossing both of you, is the world. And the world is a major arcana, and it's basically saying that there's a phase of your relationship that's coming to an end. And what I'm really seeing is you have this past card, this king of wands that's in the past, um, and this world card. So this, he's in the past, he's an Aries or a Sagittarius or a Leo, somebody very fiery, very outgoing, and it's connected to this world card and these two responsibility cards. So what this is letting me know is you and your partner are working it out, and it is this partner from the past, but at the same time, you're still conscious of the fact that something has changed. Um, now... What has changed exactly is going to be different for each unique situation, but what I will say is there's some sort of outside determining force. So it could be anything from um, somebody coming back into this partner, into this person's life, and you know them no longer working and flowing with you the way you thought you were at the beginning of the month. It could be this person um getting some sort of opportunity it could, it's a major change it's something that can't be helped that can't be negotiated um and what it's basically saying is your relationship is changing to each other there's more respect there but there's also more respect because there's a part of you that knows that you're you're parting ways um and you're not parting ways spiritually it's just kind of like you've outgrown each other in a sense and the world is kind of there to say you've completed the cycle you've completed this relationship everything is okay um, it's not a loss it's not a bad thing but the world does more than that it also says that the person that you're working with and this eight of pentacles vibration means the world to you. This isn't just somebody that you're letting go of for no reason. This is somebody you're letting go of because you're determined to have the things that are important to you or the things that you want. So, with that being said, the world and this two of pentacles both are presenting a choice. And the choice that they're presenting is, do I stay and be fulfilled and complete in this mature relationship that is now past the point of breaking, past the point of manipulation, past the point of hearsay, or do I start something new, something fresh, possibly with this king of pentacles, and open myself up to something a little bit more traditional, but maybe not as much bullshit as the king of wands originally put you through. So there's kind of, you know, this question there. And the wheel of fortune 
is actually what's on your mind. You feel like fate just isn't on your side right now romantically. Even though you're in a really excellent place, there's still real world concerns that are affecting you and that are bringing you down a little bit. So, <clears throat> your foundation card is actually this King of Cups. And the King of Cups is... It's a... It's a man or woman that is a playboy. Um, it doesn't have positive intentions. Somebody that's out to use you for your emotions, for your body, gets a rise out of it, um, isn't really emotionally invested in the relationship. So you have three people in this reading. And this King of Cups is actually you, Pisces. But it's not, it's not necessarily you being a player per se. It's you being in a position where you have to be real about your emotions. And Pisces, you've probably seen the good side to one person and the bad side to another. And you haven't really fairly assessed because this Wheel of Fortune being upside down, it's basically saying you haven't assessed fairly these two people that are in your life. Um, you've given one the benefit of the doubt no matter what he or she does, and the other one you've kind of allowed to... You, you've kind of allowed them to come into your life even though you feel like this might not be the person that you sincerely want to be with. Um, and what I'm really getting is... This king of pentacles is worth, I'm sorry, this king of pentacles. This king of wands is actually worth working it out for you. Um, you're trying to take on that responsibility. You're trying to make the right choice. But at the same time, you're hoping that this king of pentacles will take on his attitude, take on his responsibility. Um, but ultimately, this ace of wands, this ace of wands is there to say, you know, you are in a really interesting position. You're in a position where you get to start over. You're in a position where, um, and it, it might not even necessarily be between choosing between two partners. It might just be you feeling out of place with this King of Cups that is representing you because this is a water sign. Um, you might just feel like you've run out of luck. Um, you know, because outside circumstances are taking control of your relationship in a way that is affecting you um, and causing you to be responsible, but at the same time causing you to make a choice that you don't want to make. So that can be really difficult, but this Ace of Wands is kind of there to back everything up and say, um, yes, you will have to make that choice, but in that, that the choice is going to renew something for you. It's going to really kind of make this this king of wands um it, it's going to bring everything he's done to the light of day it's going to allow you to see him in a way you haven't seen him before it's going to change the way you feel now your ultimate fear is that this ten of swords um this betrayal or or this nightmare um is going to basically smack you right between the eyes that you're going to be stuck in a situation where you have to depend on somebody or you have to want or need somebody who's just not trustworthy, just not communicating with you, not being upfront with you about the relationship and where they really stand in the relationship. But overall, it's going to be you going back to that person. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of ups and downs in terms of the relationship. But overall, you're basically kicking somebody to the curb who's good for you. And the person that's bad for you, you're like, I'll give you one more shot. We can try it again. Um, but you're still at a place where you're slightly disappointed. And you feel like this person has the entire world to give to you. But somehow they just keep slipping through your fingers. And it's not that this is a bad person. 
and and I, and I wasn't trying to say that they're bad for you, but what it really is is they're not a hundred percent emotionally available. Now they're not even probably really emotionally available to themselves, but what I will say is don't let them put you in a negative position. And that's one of the reasons why I said self-sacrificing because with you being in reverse, Pisces, the only way that you have a tendency to hurt yourself is you tend to be too self-sacrificing, too giving. Um, and that two of pentacles connects to that as well. And so does the six of cups. It really does talk about you making choices out of responsibility. And that's great. But sometimes responsibility is really hard to keep up with, especially if you have too much on your plate. Even in a relationship, sometimes it's hard to sustain. So I just want to make you aware that you are happy in this relationship. Now, there will be a parting of ways. It's not going to be you breaking up with them. It's not going to be them breaking up with you. It's going to be circumstantial. Um, but they will be coming back into your life, and they will kind of always find a way to come back into your life, which is a really interesting part. So I'm going to need you guys to really kind of hold yourself high this month, Pisces, and put yourself in a place of love and, you know, really sort of self-respect is what I would say. That's going to be a really big deal for you this month. So thank you so much, Pisces, for watching, and I really appreciate all of your time and your effort and all of your comments and likes and all the new subscriptions and the old subscriptions, of course. But um, thank you guys, and in order to thank you guys, I'm doing a birthday special. <laughs> Um, I'm doing $26 for 20 minutes, and as of January, I will be changing my prices, so I'll no longer be at the prices I was at before. I'll be at $50 for 30 minutes, so it's a great time if you guys want a cheaper reading or if you want to try it out for the first time or if you want it to be a Christmas gift for somebody who's maybe a little bit romantically or financially challenged right now. It works great as a gift or anything like that. So thank you guys. Bye.